Hello folks. Hope uh, you are doing right. So this topic is on uh, uh, the open APIs. Everyone has difficulties on uh, finding the APIs. Even I was uh, uh, finding very difficult <clears throat> to find some open APIs uh, by using which we can automate something. All right. So I, I did a lot of research uh, on that and found some of the APIs uh, which you which can be used for our uh, automation testing. So without uh, wasting more time here, I will just uh, jump into the topic. So there is a there is Swagger. These are open source Swagger. Okay. So if you see here. This is a open uh, swagger, right? You have a lot of content here, but if you go to this website, right? Okay. Now this uh, like post APIs you have, get APIs you have, right? So you need to pass a specific value to use this one, right? For example, mm, let me try uh, <clears throat> place order. I want to place an order. Okay, try it. So what you can do is just if you if you try to execute, it will fail, right? You need to pass some some value in this one. Okay, so one two three, uh, one one something. If you pass, and then then if you execute right, then you will get some response. Success response you will get. Okay, so this is good with the swagger however if you want this api to be executed through postman that is how you will get the real real feel right of uh, of executing the api so that it can be taken forward to your automation testing so i have done some research and took all the details which are useful for the api through post or uh, posting or getting through the post calls from the api um that is postman right so i have just given this url where you can have a number of apis but ha currently this is one api post api which is very important and get api these two apis i had to call the data so that uh, we can <clears throat> post something through postman so first what we need we need a uri this is called as uri Okay, so this is the URI you need to use, right? Then header. Okay, then this is a body, right? So to do that, okay, what you need to just open Postman. Right, so I'm just opening the Postman now. all right okay now i have done a lot of other stuff here uh but currently right you want to create your own uh, collection right so le let me close everything i just want to show everyone from scratch how we can do from the apis okay so this is a collection for example your collection right so to, you can sample test two. You will do one collection. So this is your sample two collection, right? So under this one, you'll you'll generate n number of APIs. Okay, so I am not doing everything. I'm closing so that you guys can do a APIs from scratch. So sample, I just clicked on sample. Okay, now any uh, tab, you can open a number of tabs over here. What is our API now? Our API is a post API, right? So you need to select post. Okay, then you need to provide the URL. URI, URL are same, right? Take this one. Okay. Now first part is done. What is the next part? Next part will be the header. So you need to pass the header. 
how you pass the header click on this header click on bulk button right put here this is except this is a normal uh, kind of header but you can have uh, every api will be different okay so some api they will pass some other parameters over here so as of now these are the common parameters except in content type so you can pass over here and then the body when you are passing a body you should be very careful here so you have four options form data and then xww form uh, right something then raw and binary so click on raw raw see here also you can see text a lot of items will be there but if you want to um, accurately pass um, the api to content right you need to choose json format all right okay so this was my dumb see okay here id whatever id you want five two five four three is your id pet id okay pet id may be something nine eight four quantity hundred okay date ship me whatever you want then placed you can you can do whatever changes you want okay so there then click on send see you are successfully send one okay next you want to uh, do something else or you can do so right so this is one of the inbuilt uh, api you can use this api for your automation testing these are all okay as i said it is a sample api now next example after post you can have a get also so for that one also i have taken some sample okay forget it is very easy no need to pass headers if you pass headers well and good otherwise also it will take by autom uh, automatically it will take for now i will just pass this header right and to note forget doesn't have any body get means you are fetching the data from the system that is what you are doing nothing else right so here the parameter is available if you if you go and see uh, the swagger over here get has three parameters status right status you have three one is uh, available pending and sold for example we are doing for available so so many are right uh, pending just pending all right pending okay then uh, sold all right so this is how you know so you got the base for two apis right so with this one you can do the automation testing i am planning to do some automation on this too uh, when and well uh, when and when i uh, it is available i will post the video uh, if you want to do some research uh, this uh, you have a website right to go here try to fetch it but the good thing is they have given this one open api which will, which would be very helpful for automation testers okay uh, i i don't think i can paste uh, this one um, right um, but i can you can just note it down or write see post okay just note it, pause the video and just take all the details okay so this is the url for the swagger the first one okay and the post will start from here and it will end here okay and then get call will be from here to here, right okay all right folks i hope i i added some value um by just uh, collecting this data even i was in need of this okay hope uh, it is helpful for you guys uh, again we will see in the next video all right thank you very much folks bye bye